Happy Thursday, everyone. I just dropped the kids off at school and decided to swing by the Target. It's like 8.02 in the morning, and I may be the only person in here. I think there are like four or five cars in the parking lot, and I actually see parked next to me. There are like two other moms sitting in their cars too, so I'm gonna head in. The reason I'm here is because I wanted to pick up a couple of notebooks for a lot of Caden's um, college stuff. I think if I can just get two notebooks, um, one is going to be just dedicated to which colleges um, he has it narrowed down to, and then just different information on those pages about those colleges. And then also I want to write down notes on financial aid and what steps I need to get take, um, what steps I need to take to get started in that area as well. I also want to get a notebook. I saw the other day on Facebook, there was a mom who was getting ready to take her son to college and she was asking for recipes that he could make in his dorm that are like super easy or like food he could eat in his dorm. You know, you get those mini fridges and how can they survive? I mean, obviously they have cafeterias, but I, you know, sometimes you just want to eat something different than cafeteria food. So people were listing their ideas of recipes that you could make in a dorm. And I decided this year I'm going to start a notebook for Caden that's going to have a dorm recipe on each page. So comment below if you have any ideas of like dinnery or breakfasty type items that you could make in a dorm with a microwave and maybe a toaster or a toaster oven. I don't really know the rules on that. Maybe you could comment below and let me know if you know the rules on toaster ovens and toasters and dorm rooms. I don't know. It may just be specific to each university. So who knows? But nonetheless, I'm getting a notebook so that I can start keeping track of ideas or like things, you know, foods that he could buy at a Target or a Walmart and then take him back to his dorm and microwave and have a sort of meal. So let's go into Target. I decided that I'm definitely getting the notebooks, but first, coffee. So I have my coffee hooked to my cart. I'm ready to go. But I also wanted to show you guys, I had a girlfriend the other day ask what natural deodorant you suggest. And I'm standing here in the deodorant aisle grabbing some razors. And this is the deodorant that I use. I've been using it for about a year. Um, there was another mom that told me about this brand and can I just say it is my favorite thing ever um, this is the best flavor that I've found that smells super awesome the lavender and sage but I also just earlier this week bought this new I don't even know how you say that bergamot and lime and I had that on today and my armpits smell a little bit like candy um, so I would stick with this flavor, but definitely love everything about it. So give it a try if you're looking for a more natural deodorant. There are certain pathways that I love to walk down when I'm in the Target, just kind of looking around, and I found this aisle with little cookie jars and bowls and salt and pepper shakers. Who doesn't want a fat little squirrel on their kitchen counter to hold their cookies? <gasps> $19.99. Or fat little squirrel salt and pepper shakers. $2.99. We also have the dogs if you're into that kind of thing. Erica Gallmeyer. You want this cutie to hold your cookies? <laughs> Look. Drug paraphernalia. There is no reason to use the lava lamp unless you are on drugs. $17.99. I also would like to point out, I think Target is obsessed with animals. Look at all these animal heads that you can buy and stick on your kids' walls. Why would you stick animal heads on your kids' walls? Leave me a comment below if your kid has animal heads on their walls. Imagine waking up to that hanging over your bed. Also, can anyone explain the succulent craze to me? I don't get it. Here's my cactus plant in rocks and sand on my table. And here's so 
some more. Somebody explain that to me. I'm also, if you know me, I'm not a friend, of, uh, like a friend, I'm not a friend. I'm not a fan of cats, but look at this card game, exploding kittens. Cool. So I just came on over to the school shop area, the back to school area, and they have these awesome aisles just full of notebooks waiting for moms to write their college ideas down in them. So I'm just going to go with this plain black and white one, grabbing two of them, 59 cents a piece. Oh yeah. I think everyone knows Alexa and you can grab her at Target for $1.79, but have you met Alexa's big sister? <sighs> the Echo Show. So I played with this on Sunday, but let me just show you what she does. So you would like put her on your kitchen counter in your family room, but um, like you can call people. Alexa, call mom. Okay. Hi mom. What's going on? Hey honey. How's your midterm studying coming along? It's getting there. Alexa, play my messages. Okay. I hope the midterm went well. Love you. Okay, so that's one feature. The other features are like organization. Alexa, add cello recital Friday at 7 p.m. to my calendar. Okay. <gasps> Do you love it? Okay, let's look at entertainment. Alexa, play my 80s playlist. Okay. Playlist. Oh, yeah. Anyway, there are like so many features on this thing. You can like link it to your smart home junk. And it can be yours for the low, low price of $229.99. I want one. I'm all done loading up the car, but I'd like to just take a minute to make a public service announcement. See my cart? see the cart corral you can tell what type of person you are by whether or not you return your cart to the cart corral nice do it thank you so I'm back home now and I have my notebooks in front of me one is for financial aid and college information and the other one I'm going to use for those dorm type recipes that I talked to you about earlier I did pick up a package of labels because I'm going to label these bad boys did you know that there's a statistic it's 80% of things that have a label on them you'll actually use I just made that up but seriously if I label something in my life I'll be more apt to use it so I'm gonna label it with a label and a red sharpie and that means I'll use it so that's it for today don't forget to hit subscribe underneath these videos um, there's a little button down in the corner that says subscribe if you like these goofy videos and you want to go on this um, crazy college journey with us and you want to see these videos every day or every other day Hit that button and when we add a new video, you'll get a notification on your phone so that you can watch. And thanks for joining me at Target today. I'm sure I'll be headed out to Target a thousand times. So we'll have many Target videos and that's it for today. I'm going to label my notebooks, drink my coffee, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.